know what? You see this little piece of crap in my ear? Did you see how easily that fell off? Well, I hate headphones. I really, really hate headphones. I'm not really that much of a music guy either, but why you might ask I hate headphones? Well, it's because I can't ever seem to find the correct ones to fit my ear. And I know that's, that's what like everyone says. You know, you can't find the right fit, the right comfort. They're either wired or non-wired, depending on the situation, I mean, if you want to keep them secretive or you just don't like wires or whatever, but then you have to worry about batteries, ah, uh, yada, yada. There's so many things I could go on about headphones and stuff. Or if you have wireless ones like this, or you don't have the ones that hoop, hoop around your ears when you're working out or running or something, they always tend to fall out and it's freaking annoying. So that's why I hate these ones, stupid Apple ones, such trash. And I've come to a conclusion that there's so many factors. There's no good customizable headphones for your ears or whatever. But I found, I guess, a decently priced pair of headphones, wireless through Bluetooth, that are pretty affordable. And I actually like these ones. This is like a personal preference, not just for the brand name, but it's just the comfort of these headphones and how they actually stick in for me. So let's dig into that today. How you doing people? My name's Segi Dan. Welcome back to another Thursday Tech Review with this new brand product and my new stylish haircut. I know it looks kind of funny, but you just gotta get used to it. It's been a while since I've actually made that video. I think two weeks now. Any sort of video actually, I've been away for a little bit, so. Trying to get back into it now. I gotta get back into it. I got no enthusiasm, but I gotta work on that, okay? So today for you, for Thursday Tech Review, we do have the Razer Hammerhead Bluetooth headphones. Yes, I love these things. These are actually pretty good. Comes in this nice Razer packaging, as you all know, if you've ordered Razer things. I don't really know too much about them besides that they're headphones, they're Bluetooth, uh, they're water resistant, and that's pretty much all I know. Uh, they got a little comfort stuff, they come with a charging case. Let me just read the back to you quickly so that you get a quick understanding. True audio freedom, ultra low latency for immersive sound and competitive gaming advantages. So there is this option when you believe it, you click it three times and then you hold it and it'll turn on this uh, ultra low latency option which for Bluetooth connectivity it what do you call that you know, there, there's not much of a lag to the actual let's say you're playing a game and uh, you shoot the gun there won't be a delay in the sound coming to your ears so if you turn that on you got ultra low latency you have touch enabled and voice assistant compatible so there's a microphone on these and you do have the ability to tap once or tap twice three times or hold the button or hold it and uh, you either change the song stop the song yeah they have to pick up your phone so on and so forth custom tuned 13 millimeter drivers for clear balance sound with extended bass i have no idea what that means it is water resistant which i like so when you're working out the sweat won't actually damage these things bluetooth 5.0 and auto pairing it is portable type c charging it is not. It comes with a portable Type-C charging case. Sorry, guys. I'm totally out of it. Sound insulation, silicone earbud sleeves, and then some other languages and stuff. So, Razer Hammerhead True Wireless headsets. Let's open these bad boys up and see what's inside. So, the reason I do like these headphones is the packaging is obviously nice. Um, but a few things I want to mention before we look into this. Compared to other headsets, phones like i love headsets headsets are great for computers and gaming and whatnot but like on the go if you're working out you're looking for a headset some of those wired ones come in depending if you want a good brand will come in you know you could go to best buy and buy them for maybe 100 200 bucks 300 if you're going for like those beats ones. i think those are totally overrated just because it's a brand name and you do not need to invest in that kind of garbage because quality is not amazing either. I'm not saying the quality in these is fantastic either, but they work well, just like every other headphone. Or you can go to Dollarama or Dollar Store and uh, buy those freaking shitty ass ones for a buck and call the day and keep on buying those for the rest of your life. But those end up dying fast usually for blasting music or anything like that. Those Apple wireless earbuds too, they range between like 100 to like 300 bucks. I mean, 
totally not worth it, totally not worth it. When you could buy cheaper ones, I mean, Skull Candy ones are out there too, but once again, the quality is not the best in those, and usually the comfort isn't the best either. These are pretty much in the middle price range, and I really enjoy them. Like I said again, waterproof and really great quality. So let us dig into the box itself. Oh yeah, I forgot to also mention. I have been using the, these for a while, probably like two, three months or so. Use it for working out. I loved it. Use it at work a few times. You could hide these nicely. They're nice and snug and uh, they have quite quite good grip so they won't fall out of your ears so easily. But working out, it's great too. You don't have to worry about getting them wet or dirty with uh, your sweat. And easy to clean, which is very nice. So I do actually enjoy these headphones. As I said, I've been using them for a while. So they have been my go-to headphones for now. Anyways, into the box. You know Razer. They always come with uh, the CEO message and thank you card for uh, buying the product, which I really like. It's very nice and I quickly read through it, but then after that, it's garbage. Comes with a little manual book. I don't even know what's in this. Oh yeah, it tells you just how to connect it, charge uh, the green light, red light, orange, bat battery status, what all that means, left and right ears, the charging case and all that stuff. Oh, and all your taps, you get triple tap, double tap, touch and hold for six seconds, touch and hold for two seconds, touch and hold for half a second, triple tap and then hold the last tap for two seconds, there's gaming mode and all that stuff. And then your different languages. So those are the two little pieces of paper that come in. And then this, nice nicely fit in here I love the packaging of this actually nice hard foam on the inside to keep everything nice and snug the headphones come separately put into the top part here you got the left and the right they also had separately the, uh, the silicone rubber that kind of goes on top of it so they originally come without the silicone on it come on focus right there there you go so that's the headphone itself without the silicon or silicone cover and then here you have the silicone cover that just basically goes on top and it should look like this so there is a little bit of a grip i mean you don't have to put this on if you don't want to depending on your ear size but that's it with the silicon and that just snugly fits into your ear and that provides you with some grip or if you have bigger ears ear holes well then you might have to use this as well because there's not much adjustability to uh, the thickness or the size of these like these are in the in-ear in-depth ones or the noise cancelling ones so if you do wear these you could hear a little bit of noise but if you're playing music and stuff they actually work quite well so they do come with those it comes with the charging case itself with a little lanyard like the, these are not connected like I said I've been using these for a while these as well they're fully charged the case here you open it up green light turns on I like the padding on the inside here razor actually keeps them nice and snug closes via magnet nice and good closure and both of them just magnetically snap into place there left and right and this is your charging case as well so have the little lanyard on it carry it around whatever if you ever need a charge in the middle of uh, working out or something and then you get your nice actually i really like this usb c charging cable it is uh, what is it it's braided so it's nice and uh, protected you don't have to worry about like pulling this or ripping it up or damaging too much uh, it's USB-C and I just love that they come with these really nice and snug covers it's little rubber covers to protect this stuff protect your charging ports your USB and your USB-C input outputs like ah uh, I don't know it's just so satisfying and so it's such a nice clean finish you don't have to worry about getting dust and dirt or squishing it or damaging it I like how they've done that it's a nice short cable too because you don't need a lot long one for this it's just your headphones that you're charging and that's pretty much everything that comes with the headphones just just put these in you do hear uh, a beep when you take them out of the case and you close the case and whatnot so you do have an identification of when something is connected or not connected that's pretty much everything that comes in the uh, in the box I don't really know what else to say besides that the charging case itself does have a nice little cool logo imprint if it could properly focus there you go okay it has a nice cool razor logo etched into the hard plastic right there okay so in the end these are a nice black sleek design these come in forgot to mention the price of these the whopping 100 
US on Razor's website. I haven't looked around anywhere else. 110, 120 Canadian, especially afterwards you get the discount as well if you're a first time buyer on Razor's website or whatnot. Shipping takes a while, but that's just Razor stuff for you usually if you book off or book buy off of the wrong side. My goodness, my English is horrible today and I can't figure out my words. For myself, I have been really enjoying this headset, not headset, but headphones, and they've been working really well for me. I mean, I haven't had any problems with them. There's also an app that you could connect it to and play around with the equalizer and all that stuff. Uh, you could adjust or change the taps and whatnot to do different things. So I think that's pretty cool. I think Razer did a cool thing by getting on board with doing these kind of headphones for a more affordable price and for a really good quality. I find the quality in these is very comparable and ideal to the other competitors out there. So I really enjoy these Hammerhead headphones and I hope uh, you look into these too because they're a lot more affordable and I prefer this brand myself. I mean, yeah, price-wise, it's much more affordable and better. If you're into mobile gaming, these are probably the best ones for you to get. Connect via Bluetooth and you know, gaming settings and stuff like that. I mean, if you're a brand type person and you're going for the stupid brand stuff, well, get your Apples or your Beats whatever they're called. Like price is important, you know? I'm not gonna pay 300 bucks for a little thing like this when I could pay 100 bucks and get the same quality. So it's all dependent on how you look at it and what you're into and the brand that you want. But I'm just here to show you guys and give you a quick rundown of the Razer headset. I don't know, if, you know what? Let me give you a quick tester of uh, how these actually sound. Let me get some music going and connect right away before we finish off because that was actually gonna end the video but let's quickly do this okay we got some uh, free no copyright music here so we don't get copyrighted let's see it's working okay I'm blasting it on my phone right now let's see if the microphone can pick up the audio with this. Well, I hope that picked up the audio. I can't actually tell, but oh, I paused it because I tested. So yeah, these are actually, oh, I dropped it too. Okay, whoopsie daisy. Okay, the headphones are now with my ears. It's pretty loud, I have it on full blast. You know, I'm pausing it again. Both of them have touch, so you can tap and touch whatever you want. Can't remember if you have to hold or tap, tap but it's very ra loud now. So I feel like I'm screaming into the camera. It's a pretty good song. I can't hear anything else around. A slight noise but I mean it's headphones working very good though there's nice bass and a nice uh, mid tones and nice treble going everything's very evened out so in my opinion I highly recommend these headphones they're affordable good quality good sounding easy to use very minimalistic and um, highly recommended by me so if you guys enjoyed this video I hope you did smash that like button let me know if you enjoy uh, Thursday tech reviews instead of doing throwback Thursdays or some other stuff changing it up so I hope you guys are enjoying make sure to comment if there's anything else you'd want me to show you guys or review any other tech or uh, gadgets from the internet uh, I'm running out of ideas here I do have a few more things I'm gonna review for you guys but I need a few more, so make sure you comment, smash that like button, make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying the content, because there's a lot more for you guys to come this way. So make sure you stick around to the channel and you stick up to date, or what am I even saying? You stay up to date with everything that's going on, so you can uh, hit that bell if you want. Check out my Instagram, my Twitter, I don't really use that, but more Instagram see what's going on in my life thanks for watching and until next time guys next time uh, thanks for watching and until next time guys cheers with the beers but that i don't have so you get the idea